now that we have our odd side, we can go ahead and make a mould. Agent, sweep it off the pattern. As I want a very good finish on this, I'm using a very specially prepared facing sand. It's, very, it's a very fine sand. Now some backup sand. I always sieve the first sand to hit the pattern and, and a reasonable amount of the facing sand above that. This aerates it nicely, breaks up any lumps, gets out any rubbish that's in it and also puts it in a state that will ram better. Fill the box. There you are. drag half that we're ramming up at the moment. Corners always tend to ram weak so I don't hurt every need to remember to give them another hit. Rough side, two side first. Smooth side. Carefully lift the odd side off. Hey. No, look at it. Position the riser. I think we can probably screw it about there. All of the fine facing sand. More of the backup sand. Notice that sprue was tapered, a small tapered sprue. And the idea of that is to make certain that it runs full when the casting's poured. That ensures minimum turbulence in the mould and minimum entrainment of air and rubbish and flux, etc., slag, whatever. Always ram around these because they tend to ram a bit loose. Just like the corners of the box, really. Okay.
get the area right around the rising sprue nice and hard. So I'll give it an extra ram like this. And out there where we're going to cut the pouring base. You can wobble the riser out. The sprue you just twist and pull, you don't wobble it. Otherwise if you wobble it you get a barrel shaped. Oh, a little bit of parting agent down the hole there I find is handy. Makes them come clean to later. From the middle of the big hole, it doesn't matter what you do to the little hole. It'll... If you go from anywhere else from the big hole, you'll break the edges of it. Now cut a pouring basin. Sort of egg shaped. To one side, over the sprue radius the sprue basin junction down there, bit of a rad there. And I wouldn't mind a little vent down here. This is a very fine piece of stainless wire, nice and hard. Just that I Now, let's see if we can get this apart. Okay, now loosen it up. Unfortunately that hopefully loosens the sand on the pattern, but it also loosens the sand in the box. So we push it around the edges to try and tighten that back up again. Now with luck it'll all work. Hold your breath. Oh no it didn't. No it didn't. I suspect could be something wrong with that odds with that pattern. I don't know. Could be something wrong with that pattern there. Could be a bit undercut. But uh, a little bit of this parting agent on there to stop any loose sand sticking. I'll now cut the gate. Certain everything's blown clear. Now my problem here <laughs> is to blow that away. Cut a runner. Cut a runner here. It's cut you always cut it a bit past the riser if you can. That way the the first metal down actually goes past. That's the metal that's going to be most damaged by pouring. So it's nice to get rid of it. Sweep it with a brush to smooth it up a bit. Get rid of all the loose stuff. Just a little tap to make sure it's loose. It certainly is loose. Side back on. And over we go. Yeah. Now. Watch 
Weißt du, geht? Just a little bit. Close the mold up. Get it in a bit. Open it. Line it in loose out. We are knock off with the opening and closing. And voila. One finished mold. And that looks too bad.